Hey, this is Ryan from Web Eminence, and I want to do a quick video describing some of the core differences between using a do-it-yourself website builder like Weebly, Wix, or Squarespace versus using WordPress.org and hosting it yourself. So many people are interested in website builders because they're advertised all over TV and the internet, but a lot of people are also interested in WordPress because it's one of the most popular platforms to build your website. And I actually received an email from someone who was investigating some of my website builder reviews and she emailed me asking about WordPress. And so she asked kind of this core question about hosting a WordPress site and it just kind of made me realize that so many people have this question. So I just wanna do this uh, simple diagram here to answer this basic question. So on this diagram, if we assume that you already have your domain name, your web address where your um, website's gonna be located, the two ovals here at the top kind of represent the two elements, basic elements that you need to create a website. So there's a software and then hosting. So software is whatever uh, application you're gonna to use to build your website. And then the hosting is a computer, some kind of storage somewhere that you're gonna to use to store your website and make it visible uh, on the internet. So the software can be a lot of different things, but for the purposes of this discussion, we're comparing WordPress to a website builder. So we're gonna use WordPress as the example of the software. And for hosting, there's a lot of places you can get it for five to $10 a month on average. A Bluehost and HostGator are examples of some economy hosting solutions that are pretty good. I've been a customer of HostGator for years. I'm actually using Liquid Web now to host uh, a more professional dedicated server so that there's companies like Liquid Web that can do uh, more advanced hosting for you. So basically if you're hosting a WordPress site, these two elements, the software, WordPress, and the physical hosting need to come together. So you actually need to purchase a hosting account. There might be free hosts out there, but you basically need to purchase if you're gonna get decent hosting. So we're talking about an actual investment of money here for hosting. And then WordPress is free at wordpress.org. You can download it uh, with companies like HostGator, pretty much any host, you can install uh, WordPress with a few clicks. So it's basically the software being installed on your hosting. So these two things come together to create the environment where you can start working in WordPress and building your website. So it's a pretty simple diagram. Uh, but this can get a little bit complicated. You can actually watch a video that I did showing how you can install WordPress on HostGator hosting uh, in, I think it's under three minutes. So it's not hard to do, uh, but there's options here. So with hosting, there's these three hosts I list here, but there's hundreds or thousands of hosts and you get lots of pricing options. You can find discounts, different types of upgrades on hosting, backups, all kinds of things I'm not gonna get into here. So there are a lot of benefits to using WordPress on your own hosting. You can control the cost a little bit better and there's overall a lot of flexibility, but it will be a little bit more complex than the packaged option of using a do-it-yourself website builder like Wix, Weebly, and Squarespace. There are now hundreds of website builders probably now, but you know, there's 10 or so that are very popular with these three being probably the most popular right now and most widely known. So the main benefit of using a website builder is that it's packaged. So you go to one website like Wix.com and you create an account. Uh, most of them have free options. So you can start for free and then um, they, they package the software and the hosting. So it's really these two elements of building a website in one nice package where you just start for free, you upgrade if you need to. You can look at some of my other videos on pricing for some of these different website builders and the full review so you can see how they work but you can sign up and start using them so the hosting is built in so these website builders are hosted platforms so the hosting is included the software is built in to your account it's software as a service so you're paying monthly for the hosting and the software these companies are always updating their software making it better adding new features and they provide the support so it's everything in one place. A lot of people love that. That's why these website builders are growing. They're do-it-yourself, so they're easy to use. Definitely gonna be less complicated than WordPress uh, being installed on your own hosting. 
So that might not help you understand which of these options you should go with, but I hope at least it helps you understand the difference in how you need to piece together WordPress with hosting to create the environment to actually build your site versus a website builder that is really do it yourself and packaged and ready to go. You can check out all of my reviews on website builders. Go to my YouTube channel. There's a website builder playlist. You can uh, watch all the website builder reviews and then you can search WordPress on my channel. I'll also link to a video that shows the difference between WordPress and some website builders live on the screen so you can see some real examples of what the difference is in actually building a site. So I hope that helps you answer this very basic question, but go ahead and click on some of my other videos to go a bit deeper.